How's it going, everybody? Josh, KI6NAZ, back again with another one of these crazy, crazy videos. My wife, last year, bought a bunch of stuff from, what was it, Alibaba? AliExpress. AliExpress. You went to a different location, web location this year. Where, where did you buy ham radio gear from this year? Actually, every year I kind of look on AliExpress and Wish, mm -hmm. so it's just a combination of Okay. Well, for 2020, we're back again. The craziest things, or, or I guess 2021, depending on when I post this, the craziest things my wife bought for ham radio off of Wish or AliExpress. Let's get started. So I noticed after all the presents were distributed Christmas morning, there was one box left, sad and alone under the tree. And it was this one, and it's full of what you would expect, crazy wrapped stuff uh, that I didn't realize is ham radio gear. I'll grab the first one because this one doesn't, it doesn't really have a, a special bag or anything like that. It says a Brie on it. I do want to say up front, uh -huh. I actually bought two additional radios. Two additional radios. I bought them all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And one of those radios, no, both of them, mm -hmm. two of the radios ended up canceling on me oh the orders you ordered them yeah i ordered them and uh -huh. then the seller got back to me like days later and was like can you cancel your order just like place per for personal reasons <laughs> and i'm like uh what? okay i didn't know they could i didn't know they would contact you versus like them canceling it maybe that looks bad if they do it yeah interesting so i guess it's going to be less radios this year the only uh, thing that I asked Leia not to do was buy more Baofangs or more Baofang accessories. So we'll see what we get. All right, so the I first... Call Baofangs and Baofang accessories. Ba Baofangs and Baofang accessories. <laughs> uh, okay, the first thing is, it's obviously a, a rig of some kind. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a carrier for Charlotte. It is, that's right. <laughs> it, this, this could be magazine pouches, but I'm guessing that's not what we're looking at here. This looks to be... It's a harness for me to take you on walks. Oh, good. Yes, yeah. very good. <laughs> very nice. Uh, this is a chest harness for radios, and you could probably put four radios in it. It looks like there's quite a lot of options like here. This is a good point for us to pause while you go and get four radios. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we fiddled with putting this on. <laughs> this is not great. <laughs> For a second there, you were like, I "Actually, don't hate this." I don't hate it. <laughs> it. It's pretty cheap. So it has a lot of pocket. Like there's a pen holder, and there's like a little tiny useless baggie right here. There's a clip up top for like maybe one of those routable antennas, and it rotates. So I don't know what. I don't know. You came in the first time and you only had two radios in. And that's not all the pockets. There's four pockets. Yeah, and there's... And then you were like, is that enough radios? And I was like, it's obviously not enough radios. Oh, interesting. So there's like an admin pouch that have, has clad, like z little snaps and a zipper, like in the top. Oh. So you could do a whole lot of like whacker stuff with this. What is a whacker? A whacker is somebody who's like, really into falling around like emergency vehicles and stuff like that. Oh. Like <laughs> you can really LARP it out. Are the straps maxed out though? No. Okay. I only have like maybe a couple of inches though. Uh, one inch on this side and two inches over here. And I didn't, I think that's yeah. it. And I bet you really like those antennas like right in your face. Yeah, this is yeah. really good. I heard I could just go down there and nibble yeah, on it a yeah. little bit. I get a little bored. <laughs> Just nibble along. It's like a ham's teething. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you ran like, I mean, I can see why this may be for, so there's antennas that w like weave through molly gear that you would run up through here and then maybe around, like around your body. Yeah. It's an antenna that wraps your body. Gotcha. So I, I noticed that you've done something very bizarre here with your... Uh, with Just your looped it over my arm. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, the radio's here. Usually the hand mic is something that goes like, you know, you put your your radio on your side uh -huh. or your hip and then you, you run it up or like a side pocket of the backpack. So I don't really know where this goes. I'm sure you can route it somewhere, but... And then there's this Velcro strap thing at yeah, the top. Yeah, there's two straps that here. It looks like you're supposed to connect it over your front. But like, maybe it's for a throat mic. 
Could be for a throat mic. Oh, well, Maybe. you're in luck. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just leave this on there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's really cheesy. How much does this it cost? Is, Do you know how much this costs? It cost? is the Chandler Bing. Could I be uh, wearing any more radios? <laughs> uh, how much did this set us back? Don't know. Don't know. We're not going to talk any oh prices my God. today. Okay. All right. So Mainly because I don't have my phone with me right now. All right. We're getting out in the... Uh... Oh, be very careful because, you know, some things might be... Just loose electronics? Yeah, just... I don't know. The shipping from China is very, very, uh, how do you say, efficient? <laughs> Would you say that? I don't know what this is. I don't know. This oh, is... no, that's for bed? <laughs> <laughs> this is where the RF hits you yeah, and you transmit <laughs> with all of these radios on you. Uh, well, we'll just leave him here so he uh, can enjoy the rest of the show. Ben's going to be really excited, actually. So, I, I, although you are telling me to be careful, I appreciate that, like, there is a lot of foam on these things. Yeah. Oh, speak the devil. I think I have a... Uh, Indeed, it is a throat mic. <laughs> because, what is this? You don't want to have to hold up a mic, right? Right, right, right. And this comes with the like, obligatory uh, earpiece to go along with it. You're being so busy being tactical. Yeah, you have no time. You need your hands. Well, you still have to key it. This is the, the PTTs right here. Okay, we'll set it up. Let's see how it works. It's a Baofeng plug. Hilarious. And there is an obnoxiously huge connector on the mic side of it. This is the plug. Look how fat that plug is, Leah. Do you see that? Okay. So we have the PTT button is here. Ooh. Hot button. That feels janky. <laughs> and we've got, there's the positive connection These to the mic. These are very big pieces to be going tactical, right? Don't you want like tactical stuff to be pretty? High speed, low drag, as yeah. we like to say. Yeah, this is uh, a little chunky. Okay, so he, hypothetically, uh, you should be able to <laughs> clip this on your neck. Yes. And then this goes around your ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like things touching my neck really, like tightly. Yeah. Oh, so you definitely do not. That, this that is, is not is, great. <laughs> that pet peeve is literally one well, of my favorite peeves to. It's and here's a here's a great thing not adjustable what do you mean it's not adjustable there's all this but it's like there's not really the velcro is that's it like there's nothing yeah well i mean use it as far as the give right it has it's all elastic so it will give but listen chokers are really big in 2020 oh my okay? god this is, it's not just a <laughs> this is dreadful <laughs> It's not just for him. There's that scene. Oh, my God. It's a fashion statement. Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay, so here we go. Here we go. We got... I'll get you some butterfly clips. Well, get those in your hair. Okay, it does come with a, a larger ear thing and what looks like an extra link that you can add to this part. Because this is just going right into my ear. Why do, you, why do you need another link? I don't know. In case you want to make this larger, I'm guessing. It's like the most... Stylish ham accessory ever. I hear it. Yeah, I mean, I... It's not good in the ear, but I hear it. Does it sound better than what comes out of the... Much, external? much worse. Uh, than that speaker? Yeah, for sure. It I'm... sounds worse than what just naturally comes out of the speaker, no accessories? No, the, the Baofeng stock speaker sounds way better than this because it's literally a plastic tube. So it's it's routing up through here in in li literally a plastic straw. It's like a hole, right? It's like when you hear, yeah. It's so funny how your face lights up when you think you're about to make a contact. Even now, yeah, <laughs> use it to a Balfang contact. Just the highlight. Okay, I am receiving. Let's see if anybody can hear you. Oh, it's not good on the throat. It's really not good. Uh, let me go to Simplex. Okay, let's let's try and key up. 
it works. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, doing a radio check on 146.520 simplex. Anybody copy? It is keying. Oh, no, but let's see how it sounds. This is why you carry three HDs on you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me turn the volume up. Oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta get it away. You might have to hold it up to your mic a little bit. Okay. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, doing a radio check, radio check. That's too loud. Here, let me see the, the, <laughs> the radio is too loud. Here, let me adjust it. I can figure no, out the uh, Hold down the volume, uh -huh. pull the crown up on the VFO. What? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I was like, I know how to change volumes you on have to, This is the crown on the VFO. Uh -huh. You pull up on it to unlock it. You have to hold the volume and then dial down what? the volume. So you can't adjust it while you're whatever. Okay. Okay, here we go. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu doing a radio check, radio check, radio check. How's it sound? Horrible, right? Sounds fine to me. Yeah? Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, radio test, radio test, radio test. I have to talk low like this to make the mic pick up uh, the radio or to go out correctly. You have to talk really low, really low into your throat, really down. Wow, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing I want to note, though, is... Um... I have to take this off to do the rest of the video, though. <laughs> it's not... So I, I really do hate things around my neck, but this is not that bad. This is like so the level of a the, turtleneck. Is the point of the tactical um, throat mic so that you can operate very quietly? So other yeah, can't so, hear. so you, can, you can hear... Yeah. right without being on a speaker mm -hmm. and you're technically talking without having to hold a, a microphone okay and you can kind of you can kind of throat talk I, I don't know how to do it i'm assuming somebody will comment but yeah it's an extra link to make this wider i'm assuming because this does need to hit around your adam's apple okay it needs to go around yourself so you like you could probably just like larynx talk without oh. you know what i mean you could you could do something with your voice to make it more effective so because i can hear what's mm -hmm. coming out of the ear yeah, it's just, Quiet. it's not great. But also, I don't know what I'm doing. And that, that is a, I believe that is a certain kind of skill set that you have to learn to do. So, okay. Okay. Um, all right, we got, we got two more. This is an AliExpress. By the way, I will post links in the description for this stuff, but. Will you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. This is just straight up in a box. I'm a little bummed out, though, that like actual radios. Oh, these are. Oh, Redivis. We got Redivis, two, two Redivis boxes here. I'm gonna assume they're the ooh, same thing. I'm gonna, ooh, hey. Look at that, little tiny FRS radios. And, and, FRS radios. Oh, snap. These are <clears throat> micro USB somewhere else. No, USB C. These have USB C. Like the iPhone? There is a yeah. So this has a charger. No, like the iPad. Oh. Uh, like laptops now have USB C for high data. This has a wall wart for plugging in the wall, and a USB cable. Mhm. Mm this does have an FCC ID and an actual number, and it says frequency is FRS. Um, You're welcome. Well, I don't know. <laughs> wow, that is loud. So we're starting it up here. These are really th thin, though. Ooh, look at that. That's loud. Loud, very loud. One. V O X. Did the kids also get rid of us radios for Christmas? They did. <laughs> v O X. V O X. Off. Okay, so that's Vox. Very no frills. There's not a lot to this. And when you hold down PTT, it, it scans like a... That's interesting. What if I... I'm betting there's another one. Okay, cool. So, oh yeah, let me, let me. 
Will these work on. with the radios that the boys got? Yeah, F or S will all work on the same frequencies. I really love the 22. color of these radios. Yeah, they're a cool color. They're like a dark blue. Testing, 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 testing. Sounds good. Testing, testing, radio Sounds test, good. radio test. Sounds great. I'll do a range test on these and see uh, how far they go. Cause I've been looking for like- Why don't a... you just go outside right now? Oh, cause they're gonna do, they'll do like a quarter mile or a mile in some cases. I'm not oh. gonna walk with the camera. I'm not gonna walk wearing this elite gear. Yeah, uh, you might be th too threatening. Uh, yeah, it's entirely possible. Yeah. Testing, testing. These sound great. I like that they're USB-C too. So it's got a little fold out door here that you can put a headset or USB-C. And it, it doesn't have it, but this looks like it has a connector for, for a drop-in charger. Don't know why it didn't come with a drop-in charger. But if this was a drop-in charger, this would be really nice. What is um, hmm. nice about this that makes it better than the ones the kids got mm -hmm. is that the kids require batteries. They can't use their radios right now. If right. Waiting for batteries. This is a test of the blue FRS radios. Blue FRS radios. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, here's transmitting from a blue FRS radio into a blue FRS radio. Testing one, two, three, four, five. One. So the only thing is, these are incredibly low frills. They don't have any of the privacy channels. Privacy channels are really just uh, like PL tones. Other than you can turn Vox on, so you can talk and it'll just pick it up without having a PTT. Very no frills, but, but maybe that's what you want. I don't know. Power's on the top. All right. I, all right. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I, I think so. <laughs> I think, I think uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Is... All right. <laughs> thank you. Guys. I'm a little bummed out that we didn't get the rest of them. Oh, this is another, oh, this is another two-way radio, I think. I feel like there's two boxes in here. Oh no, wait. What are those? What is that? You got two sets of radios in here. Oh. I have no idea what's happening. Did I you order know. two sets of radios in one order? I don't know. I just click and buy and click So and this buy. is just one. So think of well, let's see. Is this actually no document? Nothing there. Um, <laughs> absolutely nothing. Uh, this is that is a very small radio, though. Tiny. Hold on. <laughs> you can eat it. So I think your vape is bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> so interestingly enough, this is. Wouldn't that be a product vape radio? <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, okay, 22 channels. This is also an FRS radio. Okay, so hypothetically, if this is on here, and this, if this has power. What? <laughs> Why did it do that? Uh, it has a clock. Excellent. More frills. This one is smaller and has more frills. Very small. <laughs> a light turned on, I don't know why. <laughs> It's also a flashlight. I got you a radio multi-tool. <laughs> it's playing a tone. A knife comes out of the back. <laughs> it just started counting down. Oh my God, it's a bomb. <laughs> Put it down. There's no like control to... Oh, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> but why is it counting down? <laughs> okay. Did everything but... just go off? Yeah, all of them went off when I did that. But I don't know how to make it PTT. I can get it to send, I can get it to send that tone. USB micro, USB micro. What if you just want to talk? <laughs> Nobody wants to do that on a radio job. Press the PTT key on the earphone. Oh. Accessories matter. Oh. You have to use the included headset. What I would like to see is you use that with a throat mic. <laughs> it won't, it won't interface. Oh. So you have to, okay, that's, all right. That's kind of a bummer. 
So let's do, is this the mic? Yeah. There we go. Test, 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 test. Ah. Ooh. Okay, that's the, this is the test of a little micro dealy. The Belinda? Is this Belita? The Elita. Tiny little clippable thing, but requires you to have this, which is not great. And this is proper cheap. So the, the, the metal, the, the actual cable from the headset to the clip is not bad. It's like a rubberized and the PTT switch is cheap, but whatever. But these headsets are just the worst. These adjustable ones that you, you have to, oh, that's really bad. Can't you hook another headset into it? With a PTT? If it was PTT the same, yes, you could. Mm -hmm. You could do that. So that's, that's the problem with these guys is they're just really obnoxious to put in and they, and they sound real bad. Okay, I have the little white radio's earbud connected well, as best as I can up against the remote microphone. This is a test, test one, two, three, four, five. I guess that makes sense though because a lot of the space that goes into a lot of these little FRS radios mm -hmm. is the speaker and the mic and all that. So they just moved it all over here. Gotcha. So if I'm, let me test it here. Testing, test, test, test. Ooh, God, that is bad. Test. Wow. Testing, test. Okay, it's not horrible. It sounds like you're underwater, but not horrible. Ooh, this is not a, this is not good. It's not a you're welcome? No, this is not a you're welcome. That is not good. <laughs> I hate the fact that it requires the, the extra stuff. Like that's, I hate that. This one though, excellent radio this says on it. Well, you know it's going to be good then. It's green. <laughs> and it has a drop-in charger. So that's cool. So, I mean, so far very little ham radio. I know. Yes. <laughs> I'm assuming then the, the other, ooh, and it's like heavy. Yeah, the other radio was a ham radio. That didn't, oh, that's yeah. a bummer. That's a super bummer. And it comes with... A lanyard. Well, don't apologize. That's blame China. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. I'm not on that train. So. Hey, testing. Test. 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 It's another one of these. Is it? Oh, it's got a monitor button. I haven't seen a, uh, an FRS radio that has a monitor button. This literally looks like half of a cell phone. It's got a battery door in the back. Monitor button, really rare in FRS radios. So you can just hold that, and if somebody's outside of the transmission range, mm -hmm. like farther out that it would break the squelch, you could still probably pick them up in the noise. Test, test. What's up, excellent radio? Okay, so it doesn't have a headset, so it should be hearing. Test, 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 test. Okay. I don't know what this is, because we're on the same, we should be on the same channels, but this is not picking it up. This is uh, 440 through 480. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. So this does 440 megahertz through 480. That's smack dab in the ham bands. So you <laughs> did. Radio. So you did buy a ham radio. Illegal radio. But I just don't know how you program it. Well, it is technically a ham radio. This is a TDX1 TDQ 3 watt output UHF transmitting radio. It's sold kind of as a business class radio, but technically, technically, you can use this on the ham band so long as you use your call sign. And we're going to talk about the programming of it a little bit later. It looks like it's kind of jank. Ooh, all in Chinese. All in Chinese, 100%. The name is in English. Excellent radio. Excellent radio indeed. What do you think it's like operating ham radio in China? 
<laughs> just like <laughs> just somebody from the government just wa standing there looking at you like <laughs> no i was gonna say it's like the wild west because they've got all these radios that just go on whatever bands <laughs> i don't even know what radio service i'm on right now <laughs> This is, has no information. Well, it has information, but it's in Chinese. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I spoke too soon. Underneath a little piece of plastic was another, another uh, manual. Also in Chinese. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, I don't understand. So this one may very well be... Okay, give me the instructions. Some kind of businessy radio. But it is straight up in the ham bands. Like this is. Hold on. Let me let me look through this really quick. Let me confirm it's is in that Chinese. In yes, it's in Chinese. There it, it it keeps repeating the word fun though. So I'm assuming they mean function. Here you go. This is the TDX One Excellent Radio. It does have a charging port on it, so that's interesting. It has a charging port and a PTT and a light PF. Power on, press and hold fun for about 30 to for three seconds. You will hear a beep or LCD will display. That was power, yeah. For channel selection, press CH plus channel to increase and CH uh, negative channel mm -hmm. to decrease. Yeah. The intercom will enter a valid stop channel and corresponding channel number. Long press the to see a, the two buttons and the plus of the channel will be merged to fast forward mode or selection mode. The volume is divided into nine levels. The minimum volume is zero mute and the maximum volume um, is eight. It's loud. It's real loud. When the volume changes, the LCD will display the corresponding level. Mm -hmm. The red light will indicate if the channel the channel has no has no frequency point. What? It will sound beep and red light will come on. That's music. Radio There's a radio function. Yes, it has a radio. But how do I change the... Analog, QT, digital, QT, sub-audio. Red leaves on the river. Get the flu bag seen this year. I help healthcare workers out. It's scanning. Tastes better. Let's see. Like a decent enough. So I don't know what I did, but I took it out of uh, you put it in monitor. I took it out of its monitor function and I put it into FM radio mode, and it's literally scanning the radio frequencies uh, around me. I, I recognize some of the stations that just came up. This is weird. The thing that's concerning is how do I program it, right? So it's got channels. There's the, the, it comes. This is the scary stuff that comes out of China with a lot of these. This is a straight up FRS radio. It's got an FCC license. I believe it's probably a legit FRS radio. Redivis, you know, generally tries to follow some of the, the laws or most of them. This thing though, this is like, I don't know what to do with it because- The machine is equipped with 38 sets of standard analog sub audio and 83 sets of standard digital sub audio as well as any non-standard sub-audio that can be input. Use the audio recognition code to make your machine receive signal, selectively receive signals. When the frequency identification code is the same, it can communicate with each other. And the frequency ah. is the same, identification code is different, mm -hmm. unable to communicate. So these are, this is a business radio. This is like straight up what you would have like, you know, in a restaurant or something oh. to be able to talk. Uh, so you'd have to key them with an identification, which is probably something it you can do. What would be great is if you could actually modify this uh, to set the channels to, you know, 
RT Systems makes a programming cable for this uh, little radio and they have software as well that will program it. What's also good news is that this, I believe, is added to Chirp. So if some reason you had one of these, I don't know why necessarily, but if you had one, you could program it to channels that you'd like and be able to operate on the ham bands so long as you use your call sign. Uh, appropriate ham radio frequencies. Then as a ham radio operator, I could use this legally by using my call sign. For non-hams, really for anybody, uh, because of the nature of this thing, because it's in all in Chinese, I this is a problem, right? This is this is not good. <laughs> so maybe uh, maybe pass on the excellent radio, regardless of how good it is. Maybe a pass. Well, we we saw some interesting things. We saw some FRS radios. I'm a little bummed out, I guess, that uh, China. You, it's not your fault. China no, China no. told us to cancel our, our our order. I am kind of cool with these though. Well. Um, these are cool. I, like I said, I wish it had the drop-in charger. That would be nice. The I'll tell you actually what was supposed to arrive. The excellent there radio. There was an uh, Malachite SDR shortwave that was supposed to come. An SDR? Yeah. That was the one that had emailed me to cancel. No! And then there was like a pocket-sized oh. mini walkie-talkie. It was like even smaller than that one. Than this one? Mm -hmm. Smaller than this? Mm -hmm. Wow, we went we went heavy on the walkie talkies. Yeah. That's good. Oh, now it's broken. There's like a a loose spring in here. Okay, so I guess going top to bottom, uh, this is bad. This is actually worse. No, well, <laughs> it's worse in the sense that like you'd be breaking laws if you use this. But it's actually kind of cool, you know, if you like green, but I'm assuming it comes in other colors. It's actually kind of cool if you, if you had the ability to change the, the programming of it. This would be cool because you could just wear it around your neck or whatever. If we ever had went to a ham fest again, you could use this, you know, just to talk locally. This is probably the best thing for sure um, out of the whole lineup. Okay. Obviously, the chest rig, though, that's, I mean, that's a no-brainer right there. You just slide <laughs> that in there. Or you have a bunch of them, right? You have yeah. a bunch of these. It's and when there's an emergency, to a bandolier, okay? Right. When there's an emergency, you start just throwing them, you know, and like throwing them off to your to your neighbors and whatnot, just so that they have comms available. <laughs> so that would be that would be all right. That would be the Santa of comms. Uh, the the throat mic is uh, dubious. So I, I am going to pull it up on the SDR and see. It's entirely possible that its stock programming is already in the handbands. I'm guessing it is, and I would just need to figure out what channels are okay to use. And then I could technically just use this. Mm. So that's a that's an option. So the way Kilo India six November Alpha Zulu. So the winner is obviously the human anatomy model. Yeah, the, the real winner is is Ben, <laughs> learning more about the human anatomy. So that's that's fantastic. I'm not going to get okay. Good. Demonetized <laughs> if there's an atomically correct part on this uh, exploded gentleman. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed another fantastic year looking at my wife purchasing, I won't say ham radio gear, I guess this, is, this qualifies in the, in the Baofeng throat mic, but sure. radio gear off of Wish and Alibaba. I'm not saying to go buy things out of these Chinese websites per se, but I it is- You're clearly saying that you didn't like any of this. <laughs> I thought the FRS radios were good, uh, but it is clearly a minefield that could be problematic. So know going in that even if you order something, they may tell you to cancel it. So you never know what to expect. We should come up with a list of things that you should, you could actually buy from AliExpress, like verified seller. An SDR receiver would be awesome. Yeah. That I mean, I, you're going to have to send me the link to that so I can I can look at it. Yeah. But that would probably be really cool. What I'm assuming, what I'm assuming is happening mm -hmm. is they lied. No, oh. <laughs> is that there's probably a company. Mm -hmm. that is importing them in the United States, branding them and selling them. Uh -huh. And they probably asked the company on Alibaba to stop selling if they bought through directly through them. Interesting. So I'm assuming, that happens by the way. A company will have a radio that comes out and becomes available uh, on the market through like AliExpress or Wish. It gets picked up by someone in the States, a broker or whatever, and then uh, they kind of resell them. That is the thing that happens. If it's an SDR and it's a shortwave receiver, I have a feeling I know which one it is. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'll post it over my head when she shows me so you can you can take a look at what it is. Uh, yeah, so I'd be curious what that thing went for too. Because then I could compare it to what it's going for. I think it was like $75. That is cheaper than what I think the the SDR that I'm thinking of goes for. Sure. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Interesting. Hmm. interesting. Hmm. Maybe we'll talk about that in the future. I am Josh, KI6NAZ. My wife joined us, Leia. If, you, if you'd like to hear more of our banter, please consider listening to our Ham Radio Crash Course podcast, where we say it's a little bit radio and just a lot of us talking about stuff <laughs> and me failing a ham radio you, you do fail the ham radio test consistently yeah. every yeah. week but i deliver you are consistent segment. and you are tenacious <laughs> in in following through with that so we, we all appreciate that all right anyway thanks very much for watching post below uh if you found any really quirky things uh you know on on chinese websites that that you would you would recommend or not. Actually, link us to stuff that you think about buying, but you won't because you don't trust it and maybe we'll buy it and test it out for you. Maybe that's something fun we could do. Yeah. That might be fun. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you later. See ya.